Her head hit the ceiling, and she saw flames in the cabin in front of her. She's one of 15 Chicago area survivors of this plane crash in Mexico. A Chicago father describes the loud boom he heard. And a first look inside Aeromexico flight 2431, the moment it went down. Good afternoon, I'm Rob Jones. And I'm Erica Sargent. It is still not clear why the plane slammed into the ground, but we are learning about what happened on board from all those area passengers who walked away from the crash, including a displaced pastor. CBS 2's Mai Martinez is live at the shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Mai. Rob and Erica, Father Ezekiel Sanchez works here at the Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and he says, as always, she was watching over him and the 102 other people on that plane yesterday. Looking at the burning wreckage of Aeromexico Flight 2431, it's hard to believe everyone survived. That includes Father Ezekiel Sanchez of the Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe, who suffered multiple fractures to his arm, but spoke to reporters by phone from a hospital in Mexico, calling the survival of all the passengers and crew a miracle. The plane was any faster, the plane would have flipped. The plane was any higher, the story would have been very different. Father Sanchez says a storm moved in just before takeoff. This time-lapse webcam video shows it moving through Durango. It began to rain very strongly with hail, and I was wondering if the pilot was going to call off the, the takeoff. But the pilot didn't, and this video from inside the plane captures the moments that follow. Jesus' name! In the number of the Jesus! I think it might have been a microburst that pushed the airplane back down. Once the plane hit the ground, it burst into flames. The fire began to spread everywhere, and the smoke was um, billowing out of everything. And, uh, we're hearing the screaming of everyone trying to get out. Father Sanchez says, thankfully, everyone got off the plane, including the group of about 15 from the Chicago area he was traveling with. Do you know how they're doing? Well, happily, most of them had minor abrasions, um, neck injuries, neck and back pain. I'm so grateful that we're all the way. We didn't lose anyone. We didn't lose anyone. Thank God. Open the door! Father Sanchez says he needs surgery to repair his broken arm. He jokes that once it's complete, he will be the bionic priest. Tonight at 7, there will be a special mass here to pray for a speedy recovery for him and all the other survivors. Reporting live from this plane, Mai Martinez, CBS 2 News. Rob. Oh, what a miracle that was, Mai, no doubt.